everyone, welcome back to another daily energy draw. This is going to be for Tuesday, June 4th, 2019. And I was drawn to this um, Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And they just drew me to another deck for tomorrow. So we're going to be um, doing Wednesdays as well. Remember, time's an illusion. Energy is constantly shifting and ever evolving. So no matter what date it's recorded, no matter what date you see this, you take the message as it resonates with you and for you. Um, so let's see what Spirit has to say for Tuesday, June 4th, 2019. Uh, let me know how you guys are dealing with the new moon energy. Is it powerful for you? Are you purging? Are you feeling breakthroughs? Are you feeling good? Um, I don't know how I'm feeling yet. I'm not sure how I'm feeling. I feel okay. I think I feel, feel pretty good, but I feel like I'm on the precipice of something, something big, some big, something big, something powerful. I don't know what. So I'm curious to see what the energy is for you guys as well. Okay, this is for Tuesday, June 4th, 2019. Tuesday, June 4th, 2019. Spirit, what do you have to say? Just one, please. We have two for Monday. Let's just have one for Tuesday. Tuesday, June 4th. We have to be fair. This is all about justice. This is all about balance. I feel like I'm being called to the 3 and the 8 being an 11 number. This might be for divine counterparts as well. I feel like there's, they're giving me the word judgment. I feel like there's some kind of decision that is being weighed. This could be for contracts. This could be for communication if it's talking about divine counterparts. This could be relationships. This could be business. Um, but with the 11 number, um, I'm getting relationships, but there's some kind of decision that's being weighed. Mm, a balancing out of energies is what I'm hearing. A balancing out of energies. Justice being served. Justice wanting to be served. Especially with regards to this connection they're saying. Uh, I'm hearing, okay, so we're going to do a reading for the Divine Masculines coming up this week. But I'm actually hearing the Divine Masculine wanting to come up, come in. And bring more balance to this connection. Making a decision for how to do that because they want to bring balance to this connection. They want to, they want to bring their divine feminine justice. Knowing that just the divine masculine I'm hearing is understanding the difficult road that they themselves have been on. And they are understanding and waking up to this connection. As they waking up to this connection, awaken to this connection, they are understanding just what the feminine has been through as well. The Divine Masculine, I'm feeling, has been in an energy of, it, it's a feeling of selfishness, but not through their, not in a negative way, not through their own fault. It's just the awakening process, Spirit is saying. Just that they have been engulfed in their own, as we have been saying, they've been engulfed in these tower moments, these dark nights of the soul as they've been going through this awakening process. And it's caused them to be kind of selfish and go within. It's, it's that hermit energy. So when I say, um, when I say selfish, it, it's, it's self-reflective. It's, it's really focused on the self. And, and sometimes you have to be. I mean, and that's where we have to kind of have compassion for our divine masculines as divine feminines because we've been through that ourselves. We've had to focus on ourselves. That's that's the selfishness that I'm getting. It's not selfish in like a negative, like narcissistic way. It's selfish in a, a self-reflective way where, they, where they've had to go inward and focus on themselves to get themselves to this stage of the awakening process to understand this connection. Now they are in a place where they're understanding that, oh my God, I've been through hell, but so has my divine feminine. And my divine feminine has been holding this love for me and holding this space for me. And I haven't been reciprocating. I haven't been focusing on her, him, her, just energy. I haven't been there in as in present in this connection as I should have been as I want to be now now they're coming to a decision as far as how to I'm hearing the words bridge the gap bridge the gap to breach this divide to come forward with this communication to offer more balance to offer more reciprocity to offer justice to this connection so um to be fair to be more fair in this connection. 
So we're going to um, actually dive deeper into this energy for the Divine Masculines with a full reading for the Divine Masculines coming up. So this was just a really quick um, energy update, just a daily draw, draw to see what's going on, and, and that's what came out. So we'll see what happens in the in the Divine Masculine reading. Um, we'll see if we pick up on the same energy. So we'll be back tomorrow, June 5th. Yeah, Wednesday, June 5th. We'll be back with another energy update, and we'll see you soon.